Hello Spider fans everywhere and college lacrosse fans in Central Virginia, across America, and around the world. Satchmo back for an extremely unusual winter appearance. Spider fans, don't look now, but on Saturday, February the 8th, the University of Richmond kicks off a new Division I sport. That's right. College of Lacrosse comes to the Brick House at 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon against the famous and powerful University of Virginia Cavaliers. But you know what, Spider fans? Satchmo and the Spider Gang, and probably a large number of Spider fans, don't know much about lacrosse. I've seen video clips but I've never been to a game. I've never known anybody that played uh, lacrosse. So I've got to get myself up to speed. In fact, when I hear the word lacrosse, I think of that beautiful little village down in Southside Virginia near where I grew up. That's not going to do me a lot of good on Saturday afternoon at the Brick House. So I've gone to work trying to educate myself a little bit about what lacrosse is. And I'm going to share it with as many of you as are interested. Some very basic fundamentals about lacrosse to help get you ready for Saturday afternoon. Go Spiders! Before I get to, to those basics I promised you about lacrosse, I wanted to share one interesting uh, thing I found out about lacrosse uh, in my uh, research. It may be the oldest continually played sport in North America. It's thought that the Northeastern Indians, the Native Americans, were playing this as lacrosse as a sport all the way back to before the white man came to this country. Pretty interesting uh, thing. Now, for the basics. When Virginia and Richmond begin play Saturday afternoon, they'll be playing a 60 minute long game with four 15 minute quarters. There'll be 10 players on the field for each team as long as no one is off for a penalty. There'll be a goalie, three attack men, three midfielders, and three defenders. The object of the game of lacrosse is to score uh, points. The ball is about the size of a tennis ball and it's made of extremely hard rubber. And to score a point, you must get it past the goalie and into the net. Very similar, I suppose, without having seen it in person, to scoring a goal in ice hockey. So that's a start. Spider fans, and I'll be back later this week with more of the basics to educate myself and maybe help you if you're interested in learning a little bit more about this game that starts Saturday at the Brick House. So long for now.